If you had to pick one civilization to try to survive an ice age, who would you pick? Obviously, Kanda, right? And then obviously, Pink Kanda, because Pink Kanda is best Kanda. Let's go ahead and try to recreate that in Civ 6 to Fractal. Small map, Ulu World Age, new, temperature, obviously cold, rainfall, wet, sea level, high. And then most importantly, resources, sparse. Let's just make this thing tough. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Rice, stone, crabs, fish, honey, cattle, and more wheat. And look at all these hills around here. This is a pretty awesome start. We need to, we need to get, no, no, no. This is way too good. <laughs> Again? Again, I thought we selected sparse resources. Look at all this stuff around here. No, 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 no. New mod. Let's just do actual sparse resources. Yep, yep. This is in English. This is in English. There we go. Self resources minus three. I don't think so. Let's go minus 20. Let's see how sparse everything is. All right, only one resource is, and it's sugar around our capital. This is much, much better. So we do have a couple more mods. I will actually have a whole bunch of mods, but a couple of important ones. One is more resources. So we can have different variety of resources. Like there is the option, the ability that syrup, maple syrup will spawn in the map. And if that happens, Oh man, you don't want to get between a Canadian and a maple syrup. I've done it before because maple syrup's awesome, but it is not pleasant. Oh. Coupes on this map. Did they found a city yet? It was a blizzard? Man, so many things are happening. The other mod we have installed, the blizzard just destroyed our warrior. 57 damage? What? Oh. Kanda. Kanda is super strong. There's that blizzard. Get away from us. The other mod I have installed is a CN tower. <laughs> Obviously, it's getting to Kanda. That would be pretty cool to get. And another mod I have is called Enhanced Camera. Look at this. Oh, wait a second here. First, we got to do Discipline and then God King. There we go. Whoa, look at that. Look at how close you can go. And look at this. Whoa, look at how far out you can go. That is awesome. If you watched my last live stream, I was kind of messing around with this mod, and I, I really like it. It's just a lot of fun. There we go. Another promotion. Holy shit. Excellent. I have another mod installed. It's like, I don't know if you played Civ 1, Civ 2, Civ 3. They had global rankings. World Wireless Civilizations. I don't know what this means. Oh. Number of cities they have. Okay. 3, 3, 3, 2 for Coupe. Obviously, because he's amazing. We have one. That's not too bad. I'm going to try to sneak this settler over here. We're probably going to found it. Yeah, maybe this on this spot, because it's on the river, and we'll have a nice... Hopefully, we get Dance of the Aurora. That would be spectacular if we actually get that. So, right here would be really good. If we buy two tiles and actually get it down here. We can do it. Yeah, that would be a really good holy site. We're not going to be able to build it, because we have these stupid barbarians in our way. We got it. Did we get it? No. Ah, oh, there's a couple of good choices that we can do. River Goddess actually be pretty good because we have this holy site right here. So we get two amenities and two housing in our capital, which would be really good, especially with this sparse resources mod. However, Lady of the Reason Marshes, I've never done this before. And we have, look at this, this is a marsh tile, this is a marsh tile, marsh, 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 marsh everywhere. Let's try this. Look at this thing. This tile is absolutely nuts now. Man. And we probably don't need holy set prayers, but let's do it anyways, I guess, since we already got it. And I also decided to build a scout in our capital. Since we're really lacking. Like, we don't even know any part of the, a part of the map. Let's go after that. Uh, yeah, we can repair this in one turn. And then a settler. We should still, you know, maybe just try to get a religion. Look at this. They are surrounding our capital. That is just crazy. Enter the class square is a dark age, which is kind of fitting. Back over the past. Since we didn't get our pantheon that we wanted. Let's just do Exodus. And we have a little bit of a barbarian issue around our capital. You know, nothing too bad. Nothing too bad. 
Okay, Poland's in this game. Uh, they're probably the one that took our awesome Pantheon. Tamar's in this game too? We have a lot of strong religious AIs in this game. Whoa! Is this a plus six campus? It is. We 100% have to have CD down here somewhere just for that campus. That one campus alone can help us out the whole game. If we look around here, this is breathtaking. Breathtaking here. This is only charming. This is breathtaking. If we actually put a preserve here, all these tiles around here would be really, really good. We lose, I believe, one appeal for getting rid of this forest, but we also gain one for adding the preserve. And since it cannot be placed adjacent to the city center, that limits our settling location to right here. Which is a little unfortunate because it's a little bit more open to the west. I mean, two tiles instead of one. But, we, you know, we should be able to defend any kind of attack with just an archer. This is the turn. Do we get Come. it? We got it. Let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens so that we may make a name for ourselves. Oh, plus two science and one production. So we have plus three production for all of our marsh tiles? This is great. Oh, this is so good. Look at our marsh tiles now. These are absolutely insane. We need more marshes. One of the annoying things in this game, if you actually want to make a deal, trade this, what you give me, 116 and 8, that's pretty good. But then you're like, okay, what a coupe give me. It takes me like five minutes to do all this stuff. Now let's quick deal. So I can just click here. Boom. Here's our max offer. 116, 8 gold per turn. 4 and 8, 4. Okay, let's just do this one. Bam. Deal done. Now we have 113 gold and we can just go here. And let's go ahead and buy a builder. 230. Man, we have to wait a little bit. We can buy another builder and improve this sugar. And then we'll be back net even with our resources. Yeah, 9.1 science is amazing. Let's see here. We're at 24. The other one I thought about actually going for a revelation, but because we're really close to getting a great profit. 32.9. We're not we're above coupe. And we don't even have a single campus. <laughs> no campus yet. And actually, this is probably a bad campus location now that we'll actually have a preserve here. So we're going to have to move the campus somewhere else. Let's go here. Let's check here. Oh, we didn't get a great profit. Oh, we didn't get it. Oh, that's a bummer. We were so close. <laughs> I would say things are going okay this game. Not ideal, because now with a great profit, our era, <laughs> the Exodus one, plus two error score for every time our city converts to our religion, is absolutely pointless. We're one error score away from actually becoming into a normal age. If we go here, we're on the coast. Okay, now we got it. 12 out of 12. Let's go ahead and build a canvas right here, right away. How many, how many people actually choose audience chamber? Two amenities, four housing cities with governors, and minus two loyalty in cities without governors. The minus two loyalty is not that big of a deal. But I mean, plus two amenities is awesome. Especially with this map with sparse resources around. We don't have many amenities practically anywhere. Finish our grove. Look at these tiles. <laughs> this is this one's absolutely nuts. Five food, three production, two science, and two faith. That is absolutely crazy. You can just improve a bunch of like crappy tiles this was initially what a two food tile or three food tile and look at this absolutely spectacular just makes you know some bright choices in the game and you'll be just fine now that we kind of are in the middle game we have five cities that are okay we just unlock natural philosophy which is spectacular i'm queuing up feudalism we're going right there and if you notice here we're building a lot of builders in our capital and if we look around our empire that's because we have a bunch of unimproved forest. We have this city down here, which is just pretty bad. We're just going to chop this down to get this campus at all. Now we definitely want natural philosophy. Oh, man. Plus eight science just for this. And then we'll do Ikum too. I think Ikum would be good for the 30% production towards builders. So what I was saying is we're kind of building a lot of builders to improve a bunch of tiles around our capital. In the kind of the middle game, I guess, fairly, you know, at the start of the game, you kind of just want to expand and get as many kind of cities as you can and build a couple key districts and then once you get to the middle of the game you want to build you know a little bit more districts or units depending on what you're kind of going for 
and also improve all these tiles around here because look at this it's just a two food one production tile but if you put a mine here boom two more production per tile is just crazy and then make our cities if you just add it up you know times six that's 12 additional production right now they're only getting 20 so that's just a lot more production so you really want to improve your tiles around your empire let's do diplomatic league for a second because if you look here bologna oh man two envoys there and we can come suzerain there oh we just found a bunch of new city states excellent but i really wanted this one because the districts of the building provide plus one great person points for you know the type writer artist musician etc that's gonna be really really good for us i do not know what kind of victory we're gonna go for maybe culture victory it wouldn't be too bad we have a lot of mountains around here we can actually get colossal heads for laventa which are pretty amazing or we can just do a diplomatic victory this game has been kind of uh uneventful <laughs> so far basically all we have done is sat here and not had any war we only have one man at arm unit we have three archers and that's all we have for units we could easily upgrade one of these once we get enough gold we should probably go up here for mercenaries first so from this world congress it shows you all i think the, these are all the luxuries that are on the map penguins are on the map but there's no maple syrup we're gonna do sugar since we have a couple sources of sugar we'll put yeah we'll put four into that because we can sell to everybody and then this one i don't really care about usually people choose production i believe so let's go ahead and do this if we get both of these that should opal no many of these oh man and production Blast. so now we should have i believe five four diplomatic wait no three diplomatic victory points yeah three and do we have any niter obviously not because this is sparse resources i don't even know if there's any on the map right now one result oh there it is so this this is the era so basically the first era was kind of founding our cities the second era was making our cities good by using a lot of builders and improving other tiles and this third era will be exploring the world more we are starting to get become suzerain of a lot more city states and then i hope with our lot of our diplomatic favor and hopefully maybe we'll be able to get a diplomatic victory this game i don't, I don't know what i, I want to do yet myself. We are going for astronomy to try to get the Botala Palace if it's not done already, which it, you know, it, it might be. <laughs> it definitely might be. I have not been paying attention. Poland has 213 diplomatic favor. And Poland has this religion. So let's definitely choose. They're going to choose plus 10 combat strength for that. So it's probably going to be this one that actually passes. You know, especially if we actually put, if we put two there and two there i think we're pretty much guaranteed to get two diplomatic victory points especially the culture bomb one you only need two because the ai always chooses one yep and this one boom i'm really shocked that poland only put one vote towards that when they have so much extra to actually spend but now we have two more diplomatic victory points we are now at five out of 20 we're tied with georgia we found it looks like two natural wonders so far i don't technically know if we've actually found these natural wonders i think we did i'm not entirely sure but there should be at least two more in the map we have discovered one additional continent and there may be one more in the map let's just keep going Hick hicks and dracones that's just the best one if even if you find one natural wonder that's three error score Oops. Here's Rome another one. Stand. The Colosseum will help out. The Colosseum out. falls. Rome shall fall. Get some nice amenities to all falls. of our cities. I think all of our Rome cities are within six tiles of the Colosseum. So we should get a couple amenities for all those cities, which is just really, really good, especially for this sparse resources. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're Colosseums directly in the center of our empire. <laughs> This could be a lot of fun. It passed! Great work, Heist. Plus two levels for our spies. Nothing else. Everything else is kind of random. Neutralized governor, breach damage, so like, stuff like that. A diplomat is All a right. Always... Let's just go ahead and steal a bunch of stuff now. Yes. It is that time. I actually realized we're going for Opera and Ballet. What are we doing? we got to play some hockey, eh? We're Canadians. So we're starting to plan out some awesome hockey rink locations. 
If you look here, you get plus one amenity, plus one culture for each adjacent tundra, tundra hills, snow and snow hills tile. Look at all, look, look at our land. It's all tundra. And plus four culture of adjacent to a stadium building. This is just like, you know, you build like an industrial zone complex with a nice dam and an aqueduct. We can do that here. So I was thinking we could build an entertainment complex here from Montreal. Another entertainment complex down here for Vancouver. Then have, boom, two hockey rinks there. And I was also thinking, well, if you go to our capital, this one has a nice six tundras around here. We can only build one hockey rink per city. And I'm hoping, I think they can be next to each other. <laughs> I'm really hoping. Oh, so what we should do here is actually put a city here. We can only build a city here or here. And then if we have this be the hockey rink from the capital, we can add an entertainment complex right here. Unfortunately, we already built entertainment complex in Quebec City. And that is right over here next to the Coliseum. So then we can do one, two, three, build another hockey rink right there from Quebec City. And then another one, I don't know, somewhere else. Maybe right here or something like that. And then another one over here. We'll just surround this whole thing. Actually, we could probably just go another entertainment complex. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't even know what to do anymore. This is going to be crazy. Put our entertainment complex here. Then go ahead and place our first hockey rink. We're going to make sure this is working in this city. Excellent. Let's go ahead and put this down. Delete this. I want to see this. Let's see this. Let's go up here. Get rid of yield icons. Go in close. Look at them. Look at their faces. You know what you're going to build today? A nice hockey rink. <laughs> okay, they're a lot bigger than the hockey rink. Look at this, like, shapes in the stands. Huh. Cool. We had a 90% chance to get a great work, and our agent got killed. Oh, good luck. This game is going awesome. <laughs> Look at this. Holy smoke. So, this, is, this game, you know, sparse resources is also kind of a test for all the AI will actually do if we have no resources on the map. Here we are. Global rankings. People with smile the most. The average amenities in their cities. Weighted by the population. We're plus 14. People love us. You know, we're the human. We can actually build entertainment complex and stuff like that. Look at this. <laughs> minus 21. Wow. Minus 17. How are they just not getting absolutely destroyed? So here's our voting. This is a kind of a work, important World Congress. I think we can get a lot of diplomatic victory points. Production. AI loves to choose this. Everything is cheaper to use for produ production. Tourism from the Great Works is doubled. Usually... They vote no for writing, but we have a lot. We have Pedro in here. We have the Polish Empire. We have the Indonesian. We have a lot of basically kind of tourism-centric kind of empire. So I'm hoping writing passes. And then we're putting all of our eggs in this basket. We're getting two diplomatic victory points for ourselves. And then obviously vote yes for World's Fair. You, don't need, you only need one for that. Come on. Good, 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 good. Let's see. Production, yes. Doubled writing, yes. Oh, man, it's a one, two, three, four, five, five? Dip my victory points? And just like that, we're at 11. In the future, we're going to vote, we're going to lose a dip my victory point because the AI loves to do that. So, therefore, you lose two, but you voted for it, so you gain one, so you only lose one. So, towards the later game, that's what you want to do. All right, I guess, you know. We might as well get a national park in the game. If I ever score for that. Oh, we still get to keep this tile. Oh, does it count as improved? Oh, that's the best thing ever. Don't steal Bolshoi the tech Ballet boost from us? The Bolshoi Theater. Two free champions. civics. Come on, something good. Romance. Oh, man. It's I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be. Graceful dances, Hopefully it's... Glorious music, and I, don't, I don't even costumes. know. Come on. Scorch Earth, the three great Reformed Church. Okay, that's a bad one. Urbanization. All right, that was okay. That was okay. I just heard a rock band. Turn two thirty one is probably about right. But here's another wonder for us. Culture of good with evil. 
It just says it must be built along a river. Thank you very much. I think this actually holds great works of art. Or something like that. It looks really pretty. Look at all these windows and stuff. Man. Let's see. Yeah. It should hold some nice art. Our first seaside resort. We can do it. Even more error score. We have 141 out of 126. We're kind of crushing it with the uh, error score. And another beautiful national park. Now we have three national parks in our lands. We could probably build a fourth one somewhere. I'm thinking over here somewhere, but the problem is we have this improved here. And you kind of need... So it'd be like you would remove these tiles. Yeah, I don't like that. I really do not like how they have to be this specific diamond shape. Statue of Liberty, we did it! Stand Four diplomatic victory points, and the loyalty mean? thing doesn't matter because this thing is built lightning. way up by Poland's land. So they can look at the Statue of Liberty and realize how awesome we actually are. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can actually take over their capital, or this city right here. And it'll be 100% loyal for us. That is a lot of diplomatic victory points. We're now at 15. We are at 15. Let's look here. Another World Congress is up. We're at 15. Seven is the next. I'm assuming people are going to vote against us. So new districts by this person, culture bombs. Two, you should like always get this. Another one. This one, mercenary companies has been coming up the whole game. And this has always been minus 50%. For the next one... 600 dip in my favor here. 222, 117, 100. We're not going to be able to, if they vote for us, we're not going to be able to get this. Like, we cannot overwrite all their negative votes for us. So we just do one towards us. So if nobody else votes for it, we don't lose. And then we also, we don't spend any dip in my favor. Look at that. It's like we know this game or what. One's all you need there. This has been going 50% minus production the whole game and then lost. AK, we lost. Look, everybody voted for us, so there's no way. We would have had to put in 15 votes, which is a ton of diplomatic victory points. And we're now at 16. But here's the Atomic Era. as another golden age for the great Canadian Empire. Let's go ahead and make our dedication. I mean, obviously we should be here. 100% tours of Brown National Parks, and we have four of them. And we have a lot of World Wonders. Oh, man. And since we chose actually building the audience chamber earlier in the game, we prioritize getting all governors. So let's see here. We should actually probably move a governor to Montreal and get it out of Vancouver. And the, <laughs> I don't think we've had one successful spy mission this whole game. It's been, it's been kind of a cursed game in the sense that we did not get our uh, Dance of the Aurora. First, first of all, we did not get Dance of the Aurora. So our, you know, our Pantheon is pretty bad. Second of all, we didn't get a religion. We missed it by like a turn. Third of all, we've lost, I don't know, three spies now this whole game. Fourth of all, our first rock band just bit the dust with a 26% chance of actually biting the dust. So, you know, we, we hit that one out of four chance. And another one. <laughs> another agent killed. Okay. Good game. Okay, we are not um, building any more spies anymore. Because all the spies we built now, three for three, are all dead. <laughs> they all got caught. Maybe light cavalry or something? Spies? Espionage pact? I have no idea. I have no idea for that one either. Neutralized governor? I think that's something they like to choose. Diplomatic victory. So if we look here, they can actually do, I think, about eight. 19 votes. If they use all their diplomatic diplomatic favor, they can do like 18 or 19 votes against us. And we can only do a plus 14. So this is hoping that they, nobody says no, and not everybody says no against us. I mean, it really depends on the Indonesian Empire. Everybody else, like, you can do like three votes here, two, or like three votes here, four votes here, five votes with this one. And then... World Games, obviously, we're going to choose that one. No, we lost 21. 9. 10. Wow. 
They've put all their eggs in that basket. Okay. Neutralized gunner, we got that one. Light cavalry, we got that one. So basically we're net zero with that. Oh, so we should be at 16. Yeah, we're still at 16. I did a lot of trading and we were able to theme a lot of our archaeology museums. See, we only could not theme this one of them. So I think five out of six or six out of seven, something like that. We can also look here, we're a suzerain of every city state except for one. We're actually doing quite well, I guess, tours and why we could get a tours and victory. It already gets turned 271. Man, this game is taking forever. If we look at the science victory, another dust storm up north. That's not good for our situation. Let's go ahead and repair all of our stuff. But if we look here, Poland is, you know, getting kind of close to a science victory. Diplomacy, we have 69, 20, and then culture you know, we're kind of crushing it. But other than that, you know, we're just kind of sitting here waiting around until the next World Congress comes around. We'll also be buying some stadiums. I don't think we can buy them yet. I think they're quite expensive. In 1920, now we can buy one right now. Boom. And World Games, get a little bit more score for the World Games. Wow. Yeah, we need to actually start training some, uh, training some athletes. We absolutely crushed the world games look at our we're at 1466 diplomatic favor the cars haven't advanced that thousand okay tomorrow at 450 now we got some awesome well we got one diplomatic victory point which is the most important thing okay so writing yeah that one won it uh by uh by, by a lot and then uh this one we obviously got that one too we lost one diplomatic victory point because we actually voted for that one and the Climate Accord the passed. Now I think we only have 18. We have 18 out of 20. Ah. So now the only way for us to win is basically just do Climate Accords, which would be really easy for us since we do not have any power plants or stuff like that. And I guess, you know, we could actually go for global warming mitigation now. But that'll put us at 19. There's another diplomatic victory point somewhere over here, but that is so far away, it's not going to happen. All right, now we got to wait. A lot more turns. We should. Let's see. Climbing Accords. We're exactly tied with Coupe because we both don't have any coal or power plants. I don't have a single industrial zone in this empire. So we should get two diplomatic victory points for that, I believe. And we're already at 19, so that should be 20. Is this it? Otherwise, World Congress is coming up in two turns. We do have 672. 895 diplomatic favor that should be it yes diplomatic victory From yes Canada we actually went for it unlike the score victory where it was just basically accidental <laughs> let's see our ranking it is pretty bad this was a really really long game but our culture output was absolutely insane then we were like nah we don't need culture anymore but uh thanks for watching this episode